Hi everyone, I hope you all are good and doing well. So in today's lecture, we are going to start off with uh, another category of problem based on time and work. So if you try to recall, so in the very start of the first lecture, I had discussed that there are two category of problems which we have to cover under this topic time and work. First, problems involving individual efficiency and second, problems involving group efficiency. So in today's lecture, we are going to start off with the first type of problem which are based on group efficiencies. Now, in group efficiency, the only thing which you have to remember is a simple formula. So, let me write down that formula first. Work is the product of men into days into hours. In some cases, we'll be using one more variable that is efficiency. So, these are the two formula which you have to remember. And guys, see, uh, remembering these two formula is very easy. So, you must have heard of that advertisement MDH, MDH, MDH Masale. So from that you can recall that group efficiency ke problem we have to formula use karna hai, it is m into d into h where m is men, d is number of days and h is representing number of hours. Uh, at times they will also introduce one more variable that is efficiency. So in that case we have to use the other formula. Let's start with the first problem. Uh, if 20 men working for 6 hours every day can finish a task in 40 days, in how many days working for 8 hours every day can 30 men finish the same task? So, if you see this situation carefully, uh, in the first case, the number of men are 20. So, there were 20 men and they were working for 6 hours every day such that they are able to complete a task in 40 days. So, in 40 days, they have completed a task. Let's call that work as T or the task as T. Now, the question is if the same task uh, will be performed by this new group, new group containing 30 men working for 8 hours every day. So, in how many days they would be able to complete the same task? Because task is same, hai, so let me assume the value of task is T only. So, the task was the same task abhi bhi hai. Now, all you need to do is using this formula, you have to make two equations for the two cases. So, in the first case, number of men are 20. How many days they have worked? 40. Uh, har din kitna kaam karenge? 6 hours. Aur is tarikhe se wo ek work karte hai, jisko humne T assume kiya tha. Ab yehi kaam agar ek dousra group karta hai, jis pe 30 men hai, which works for 8 hours every day. So, in how many days? To humko ye find out karna hai, ki kitne din mein? To mene isko X bol diya. Same come. So, to answer this question, there can be multiple ways you can solve these two equations simultaneously. But a better approach would be, if I just divide these two equations, I will get my answer in no time. See, what will happen? This t will rule out this t. And now, if you see this thing carefully, this 0 will rule out this 0. And what can be done? 8, 1, 8, 5, 3, 1, 3, 2. So, from here, you get the value of x. Just take x to the other side. And in the right hand side, you have 5 to 10 and 10 to 20. Likewise, even if you think common sensically, so if you see this new group, the number of men hai, they are more. So obviously, the work that was done will be a little faster. And second variable, if you see, so the first group was working 6 hours, and the new group will work 8 hours. It will also have the same impact. It will also have the same way to impact the number of days. And we have also seen that. So, these are few things which you can use to cross verify whether you have uh, calculated the correct answer or not. I can anticipate this from this small observation that the number of days will be 40 se kam honge. Because the first group is 40 days, then the other group, which the number of men are more, who are working for more hours every day. So, definitely, this work will be complete karenge. And this is what my answer is representing. Let's go to the next question based on the same type. Please see. So, instead of reading this problem, let me write down this data for you. So, there were 15 men. They were working for 9 hours every day at an efficiency. So, here they have introduced an extra variable, efficiency. So, their efficiency was N and they can finish a task. Let's call this task as T for now and they can complete it in 12 days. Uh, in the next statement, it says in how many days. So, we have to again find out the answer in terms of number of days. Let's call it X. Can 36 men working for 5 hours every day at an efficiency? Please note down, here the efficiency is the previous efficiency, 3 fourths. So, 3 by 4th of the previous efficiency 
फिनिश द टास्क विच इज 25 परसेंट मोर देन द फर्स्ट टास्क तो जो भी पहले टास्क का वैल्यू था अभी जो टास्क इनको करना है इट इज 25 परसेंट मोर इफ यू इंक्रीज दिस वेरिएबल टी बाई ट्वेंटी दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू राइट इट डाउन तो अगर मुझे किसी नंबर को 25% से बढ़ाना होता है तो मैं उसको 125 ट्वेंटी फाइव बाई हंड्रेड कैलकुलेट करूंगा वन ट्वेंटी टू रिकॉल मल्टीप्लीकेशन फैक्टर बट इंस्टेड ऑफ दिस वॉट यू कुड डन इंस्टेड ऑफ अज्यूमिंग दी वैल्यू ऑफ टास्क एज सम वेरेबल टू मेक योर कैलकुलेशन ईजी यू कुड हैव अज्यूम्ड द सेम टास्क एज अ नंबर एंड वट कुड बी अ बेटर नंबर देन हंड्रेड टू लेट इज अज्यूम इनिशियल टास्क एज हंड्रेड यूनिट and then increase this by 25% the new value of task must be 125 i hope this much is understood and now all you need to do is tumko in dono cases ko using this formula m into d into h and we have an extra variable here efficiency is equals to work using this formula make two expressions so in the first case the number of men are 15 uh, they worked for 12 days 9 hours every day at an efficiency of n and this way they have completed this task of 100 units now the new group has to complete uh, 125 units of task where the number of men are 36 and they are working for 5 hours every day at an efficiency of 3 by 4 of the previous and we have to find number of days let's call it x and now the easier way is divide the two equations now once you divide see 25 into 400 25 5 125 guys if you look at this 3 by 4 carefully i can take this 4 in numerator directly i hope this much you understand okay now what we can do is see 5 3 is 15 so let me cancel 15 in numerator then 9 into 4 is 36 let us cancel 36 from denominator what else can be done 4 1 and 4 3 so to get your answer we'll take this x to the other side and i'll take 5 to the other side and also guys n will be ruled out because it's a common variable 5 into 3 will give you 15 days so i hope you were able to understand how easily i can uh, convert these cases using uh, one of the two formula and uh, then by solving the two equations i can get my answers very quickly